So what's what's step one? What's what's the first thing? Talking to how many people? Well, it depends on where step one starts. You know, are you brand new? Did you just get your license yesterday? Are you a year in? Have you closed four properties and you're trying to you're still trying to figure this thing out? Are you five years in? And you know, like, what stage are you in? Are you at stage one, stage two, stage you know? So let's say we're doing twenty deals a year. Yeah. And we're kind of stuck at twenty deals a year. Okay. The first thing I would do is get a weekly email in place to all my past clients, and then I would work on gathering more more emails from more people to get into that email database to send a weekly email that you create every week. It's custom content. Okay, that's step one. Step two, and that should take you no let no more than an hour, right? Like, we're like, we're not. I'm not talking about spend a week on this. I'm talking about spending a couple of minutes. See, this is this is <laughs> this is something that that people see me like on the office, and I'm like just moseying on through there, you know, like you know, da da da, make a little cup of coffee. And I'm, 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 I look like, you know, I, I look like I'm almost in slow motion, but I'm getting so much done. Like at the end of the day, there's so much production, but I don't look like I'm, I don't look like I'm like running a mer running a sprint here. You know, like I just, I look like I'm in slow motion. So when I say step one, step two, step three, I mean, get step one done right this second, you know, within a matter of minutes, an hour, and then quickly see there's no, there's no dead time for me. Like when I get done with a task, I already know what the next task is and I move right into it that that second. Like even before I'm done with the last task, I'm already almost starting the next task. You know what I mean? That's what creates my speed to get so much done. I don't do finish one thing and then say, "Okay, here we go." You know. <laughs> what well, well, let me catch my breath and let me see what's going on on Facebook or, you know, let's just watch Dr. Phil. I'm, I'm moving very quickly to, okay, boom, 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 boom. And that's the way you have to be. So step one, let's get the weekly email in place. Step two, let's call every single past client that we have. If we, if we close 20 deals, it means we have a nice little list. And if we're in a rut, that means we probably haven't talked to them lately, right? So I want you to immediately call all those people and just say, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? I'm enjoying the days in the gorgeous. How's your daughter? How's your son? What's going on with that thing? Are you enjoying the the condo or house that I sold you, or or you know wherever you moved to? Just checking on you, man. Is there anything in the world I can do for you? Cool. Look, I'm here for you. Uh, you're gonna start getting this weekly email. You know, just hit me up. Let's do some lunch. Where are you at? When when can we when can we uh, meet? You know what I'm saying? And try to set up a lunch appointment with every past client that you possibly can. And, and what you'll do is you'll set your calendar up and you'll fill your calendar up with these lunches, okay? But then like that's only an hour of those days, okay? So then you're going to fill your calendar up with more productive activities in the mornings and the afternoons of those same days, but you're going to spend that hour, you're going to buy that client lunch, and you're going to spend some more face time with them and go deeper with that relationship, not talking about real estate, not, talk, not trying to get them to do anything, just hanging out. And so that would be step one, email, step two, past client, step three. Okay, we went through all the, we got all the emails, we got it in place, you're doing a weekly email, we talked to all our past clients, we set up launches, okay, boom. Now we're gonna start circle prospecting, calling expireds and for sale by owners. Okay, so, so what you're saying is don't call Fizbo's first, call your past clients after you've done got your email sent out. If you're in your if you're in the stage that you talked about where you're one year in, you've closed 20 deals and your business is stale, it should take you no more than a half a day to call those past clients, get through that small little list you got and set up some lunches and get some, you know, get another contact behind, you know, under your belt with those people. And uh, yeah, I think that's important to, to get the weekly email set up, talk to past clients. That should like we're now we're literally we're literally five hours into this. OK, you know, we're literally five hours in. So when you say she shouldn't call for sale by owners first, we're still on the first day of this in my world. Right. We're still day one of this. Let's, let's back up, though, because I, I know how I get my day started. I know you do very similar. Like, how do people get so clear on their, their from one actual item to the next? What do you do 
to get clear to get so much done in five hours. I literally, and I like the way you said it when we, when we when you came on my channel. I literally have a like 15 to 20 minute meeting with myself, right? Where I sit down and I study my business for just 10 or 15 minutes, and I make a list, and I'm prioritizing what I need to do, right? And so I know like what my appointments are, if I have listing appointments, closings, a lunch appointment, you know, I need to do a Zoom with Colton, I got whatever I need to do, it's there on that paper. So I kind of know where my appointments are set. Then I have this other list of things I got to do in between appointments, right? And so I like prioritize those things. And then I just, I mean, once I get through that and I feel good that, okay, I got everything here, then I don't even have to think anymore. I just, I just boom, boom, boom. I look, okay, boom, knock that out, that out, that out. Just check them off the list and just go down that sucker, go to my appointments, crush more things, try to make calls. In, like when I'm driving from appointment to appointment, I'm on the phone making important phone calls. I'm not calling mom to say, hey, you know, how's your day? I'm calling clients, I'm calling developers, I'm calling agents in my coaching program. I'm trying to knock out things on my, on my, uh, you know, on my drive from appointment to appointment so that I can knock out more, I can produce more, you know, I can get more done. So yeah, I'm just real productive oriented. You know, I grew up roofing houses <laughs> and you get paid for how many shingles you lay. And, and so I'm just in the, in the mentality of, um, you know, I have to produce, I have to produce, you know what I mean? So that's just like, I, you know, and to be honest, I don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what I would do in between my meeting with Bob and, um, you know, my meeting with Ed. Um, if I, you know, if I'm calling people in between, I don't, I don't know what I would do. I would just like drive and just stare at the road and into space and think of, you know, I don't know. I don't know what people, I don't know what people do, bro. Yeah. I don't know what people do either. Um, I'll tell you something else that really gets me, man. Is like people that have one, uh, like like two two buyers, you know, two pending deals, three active listings, and they're done. Like they can't they can't handle it. You know what I mean? Like it takes them forty hours a week to handle that, and they put no time towards new business, new money. Yeah. It blows my mind. You know why that happens is, is if people get lost in the drama. Now, one of the things I've observed, guys, that Ricky's really great at is he doesn't get uh, he doesn't get lost in the story of the bullshit because his he lives this mentality of this is my life. Like he's obsessed with life and life is here in this moment. What am I going to do in this moment? I've got a mission to help as many people sell their property as possible. And now Ricky's is is to reduce the failure rate of real estate agents in this industry but you don't have a, you, you don't get lost in the kardashians or what a client said that you know like three weeks ago that, that you're having a debate in your head about or you're not you're not worried about some family drama or this or that you're focused on what is it what am i after what is my purpose what is my drive